Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my video titled My Idol Issue Nightmare. And the reason why I titled it My Idol Issue Nightmare is because it literally was a nightmare trying to get it fixed. And I want to tell you um, my situation and how it worked for me. And obviously if it's the same situation, it should work for you guys as well. But if not, I'm going to give you um, some other issues it could be in. Hopefully it will help you in the right direction. So obviously with idol issues, it could be a bunch of different things. And each of those bunch of different things could, could mean a difference in working just be, between um, leaving a gasket out or not doing it, not cleaning it well enough or something fell out and, you know, whatever. It could be any of the things. So, so I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, the reason why my RSX had, my RSX had a idle issue was because I lowered it. I lowered it onto TN, um, Super Street coilovers with pillow ball, pillow ball mount, so I lowered it on that. Um, it made it really low, I think it was like a two inch drop or something, it was really low, I don't remember. But um, TN makes some of the best suspension around. Um, unfortunately, when I when, once I installed it, and I had it installed uh, professionally by the way, once I installed it, eventually the tire was rubbed on the underlayment, the plastic underlayment, um, right above the wheel well. And you know, I don't. I didn't think it was much. I didn't think it was much a big deal because uh, I figured it was more cosmetic. You know, you don't want to see right in the engine bay. And you know, once it rubbed, it eventually fell off. You know, or um, if it doesn't fall off, it might. Um, uh, you might take it off yourself. Maybe there's a piece of plastic hanging, and you don't like it. And you're like, this is just a piece of plastic. It's not going to do anything. I'm just going to take it off. And uh, maybe save some some weight. My car will be faster, right? So you take it off and you're driving, and uh, all of a sudden, what happened to me was that I had a I had a idle issue. And at the time, I didn't consider a piece of plastic that could be causing my idle issue. But what that piece of plastic does is it basically prevents all the dust and water from getting into your engine bay. Uh, I also installed. AEM colder intake at this around the same time when when I lowered the car, so I was pretty sure that there was um, something wrong with that. And and uh, coincidentally, whenever it rained, my car would have some smoke coming out of the exhaust, and then it would stall. Um, but I digress. Let me talk about the idle uh, issue. So the idle issue, uh, I believe, was caused due to dirt and debris and water all getting in um, in the engine bay from the wheel well, from the, the under limit that fell off. So tip number one is to, if, you're, um, if your under limit falls off or if it gets rubbed off by lowering the car, make sure to get that fixed ASAP. Not only will your engine bay be cleaner, but you will prevent um, having to uh, troubleshoot uh, idle issue down the road. So for me, after I had the first idle issue, I um, took out my uh, idle control valve and cleaned it myself. It didn't work. I cleaned it multiple more times. It didn't work. And I, I eventually had it uh, replaced. And once I replaced it, the car's idle issue went away. Um, I still didn't think, you know, I still thought that that was... Um, a natural wear and tear. I didn't think it was caused by the underlayment. Well, guess what? A couple years later, I had another idle idle issue. Um, this time, it was a nightmare because I ruled out the idle air control valve because I just replaced it a couple years ago. How could it go bad? So um, I did look at a bunch of other things and uh, waste a lot of time, a lot of money on trying to resolve this idle issue. So some other things that it could be, if, if your under limit's fine and you didn't lower the car, then other things it could be is the map sensor, it could be the TPS sensor, it could be the ECU. I, I bought a new ECU on eBay, wasn't the ECU. Um, it could be the catalytic converter, actually. Uh, it could be the idle air control valve. I, there, it could also be the idle control speed valve, an O2 sensor primary and the secondary. I also drove the car across the country. So before I did, I changed all the fluids. Did you change the fluids? If you did, was the intercoolant fluid one of them? If you did change the intercoolant fluid, did you bleed it properly? Um, 
You could also check for vacuum leaks. In my case, I remember one time uh, I changed the uh, idle air control valve after cleaning it. Um, when I cleaned the second time, uh, I, when I took it out, I realized the gasket was missing. So if you if you took it out, to, if you took out the idle air control valve to clean it, there's a gasket on there. So in my case, um, heading down the routes that I one of the routes that one of the other routes that I mentioned were a lot more costly. And when I um, looked at the clues, something told me, hey, it could be the IC valve again. So that was a uh, little that was so that was a little less costly than pursuing the other route. So I decided to pursue this route first. So like I said, I cleaned it again. Didn't work. Uh, I ended up trying to buy a new one uh, by the recommendation of a friend that had a similar issue. And guess what? It worked. So if it if the IC if the if you still have idle issues. Uh, after you clean it, try just getting a new one. And I'm not sure why it makes a difference because it's just a piece of metal. I cleaned it really well. I'm sure you cleaned it really well, but it's still not as not not as good as uh, a uh, brand new one, I guess. So if your uh, underlayment underlayment's missing, make sure you get all that underlayment first, the front, the two sides, before you get the uh, the new IC valve. All right, so that's my tip to you guys about. I do issues with the RSX. All right, so now you might be wondering, where's the RSX? Well, unfortunately, uh, I sold it. Not because of the idle issue that got fixed. I sold it because I wanted to upgrade. Not Well, not upgrade, I wanted to get something different. Um, the RSX was super, super fun, and like everyone who sells the RSX, I knew I was gonna miss it tremendously, but I didn't want two cars, I didn't want two insurance payments and I didn't want to worry about two cars. I just want one car. I only need one car. So I ended up selling it. I really miss it. I miss uh, stepping on the gas, hearing the exhaust. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, yeah, but you know, I'm going to let someone else enjoy it. I don't, I, I believe in, um, you know, things come and go. And I had it for over 10 years and it was just time to let it go. But let me show you guys my new car. Yep, so I ended up getting a 2016 Forerunner. It's a trail edition to be exact. Um, I already took it off-roading. I actually I already had it for about five months already So yeah, so anyways, uh, I wanted something Something uh, different I definitely wanted four-door and uh, I had a I had a uh, SUV before I had a Nissan Pathfinder before and I loved it um, So I I was looking at a couple of different cars <clears throat> and I was really looking at getting the uh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited for a long time. Like that was a car that I've been checking out for a long time. But um, when I actually came down to buy it, I ended up going to a Toyota dealership and just got this one. So I'm not gonna do a whole um, review on this truck yet. I might not even do a review. Uh, just because there's already so many. And uh, I'm assuming I haven't checked it out myself. But uh, I got the trail because the TRD Pro um, although I love to look in the colors, um, I eventually wanted to lift it myself, put on at least three inches. And uh, there's some stuff that the TRD Pro didn't have, mainly um, the uh, the sunroof. I love sunroofs, moonroofs, whatever you want to call it. And I also didn't want to pay the the premium for the TRD Pro just for the colors, mainly, and the uh, the suspension upgrade. Which, when I, like I said, I'm gonna upgrade myself. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, I really, I honestly really want to make a video before I sold the RSX. I wanted to um, make some kind of tribute video. I had it for 10 years. I had it for over 10 years. But um, I literally went, I literally drove to the car dealership and then it just happened so fast. I, uh, yeah, I just sold it that same day. So um, no tribute video unfortunately. Um, no photo shoot. I want to get a photo shoot with the bike. Didn't happen. Um, so, 
you know, I miss it. The R6 is a great car. Uh, I think it's one of the best looking cars for the money. Definitely one of the best looking cars on the road that is 10 years old. There's no car that looks as good at, for the price that's 10 years old. So it's a, definitely a great car and I would love to get a, another one someday if I have the money and the room. Um, <clears throat> so thanks for watching and enjoy these pictures.